HD Movie Maker is currently the best-selling video maker on the Microsoft Store. In this video, we will show you the basic steps to getting started. The topics are learn to start a new project, add videos and photos, create a title, add credits, add sound and music, save and export. On the main screen, you will see create a new project. Click here. Come down to add clips. Notice your choices are to add a new clip at the current position, beginning a project or end a project. Just say current position and photo and video. We'll add our clips to the video. It will import the files. Depending on how many files you select, the length of time it will take to download may differ. To move your photos and videos, all you need to do is select the photo or video. You'll notice a blue line is underneath that video and you can just drag it to the location you want. You can tell it's a photo or video by the small icon in the upper left hand corner. This is a video. This is a photo. Next, we are going to add a title. So we click on add clip. Make sure you're at beginning a project and click title. I'm going to choose a nice blue color as the background. I'm going to tap add text, highlight this and type in your title. You can change the size here. When you are done, click OK. Now that we have our title slide, we're going to add clip. We are now going to add a credit. So we want to do it at the end of the project. Click credit. And now we can add our credits. You can make this larger if you wish. When you are done, you can click OK. We're going to use the scrubber bar on the bottom. Go back to the very beginning of the video. And our next item is to add sounds and music. Let's click on edit soundtrack. First, we're going to go over the cursors. This is the main cursor and you can move it by dragging it. You also have a scrubber bar at the bottom. If you wish to go to the end of the video and bring the cursor to the end, just click and it will come to that point. You can go back to the beginning, tap here, and it will come to the beginning of the video. The circle will allow you to select parts of the music or narration you wish to edit. Let's insert music, the current position, built-in tracks, and we'll choose celebration. We'll notice at the beginning that we have a time where it may not start right away. So I could use this to select this and use the trim to trim the sound to start sooner. A wonderful feature in HD Movie Maker is to synchronize your music to your video. Let's take a look at how that works. We're going to click the back button and go into settings. You now have an audio setting that you can check the audio synchronization. This option is important if your soundtrack contains content such as voice narration or sound effects that must be synchronized with the video content. If you simply want to add music as a background to your video, synchronization is not important and you can leave this option unchecked. Next, we want to save our project. You can save it, the original and at later time, you may wish to save a copy to make changes so you have two different versions of the same video. At this point, I will save and I'm going to say OK. Next, we want to export the video to be viewed by other people. So we are going to choose from the following video resolutions. Each of these will give you a better quality video. However, if you shoot the video in full HD, Saving it in 4K will not help you. This video, however, was shot in 4K. I will save it as an MP4, which will allow it to be read on multiple types of devices. The program recommends hardware encoder and video bitrate will affect the size and the quality of your video. The default is the medium setting. If you click this, you get a choice of the file size. This is an average quality. If you go all the way to the top, you will notice that this is a larger file. And if you're saving space, this is something to make note of. Now I'm going to do it at the full version 
and say OK. It will now ask me where I want to save it. I will name the file and click Save. This may take a bit of time depending on the number of pictures and videos you have. Once you are done, you can now play your video. Thank you for watching this tutorial on HD Movie Maker.